After School Special Podcast. After School Special Podcast. After School Special Podcast. After School Special Podcast. The office holiday party is back. A new survey by executive coaching firm Challenger Gray and Christmas finding that over half, 56.9% of companies say that they are having in-person holiday parties this year. Now, workplace experts say the Christmas party is a great way for, you know, authentic conversations between colleagues and bosses, great way to connect with coworkers you don't see, and actually a great place to approach leadership. Just don't talk too much business, they say. Of course, you got to be careful, particularly when it comes to the alcohol. Before we eat, I just wanted to say a few words. I know everyone's busy with their lives and has their own things that they have to do, but it means so much that you're here with us in our home for the holidays. And that goes for both of us. How come your damn sister couldn't host? Because my sister's house is a dump, Daniel. No, I got to pay for all this damn food? Oh, hell no! As I have always said, this house is happier when it's full. Get out the bathroom! Welcome to After School Special Podcast. Today on this episode, Christmas time is here, everyone. Christmas time is here. Oh, holy night, the stars are barely shine. It is the night of constipation. I need to get my Metamucil because I'm getting older and tired. And I, I don't like Christmas because it keeps reminding me of death. We're talking about holiday parties, work parties, and family parties. Watch out. Terry over there is grabbing butts and nuts. He's getting crazy. He's got a Hawaiian shirt on and a Christmas hat. He's going to be throwing up and probably essaying everyone in the room. And then don't oh, forget, no. at your family holiday party, Uncle Jack wants you to sit on his knee for a little bit too long. Oh, Jack. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't really tell you, Don, how I was going to try to break this up, so I figured it out pretty quick. Yeah. So, for the work party, I haven't been to a work party. I go to my uh, girlfriend's work party, like, all the time, every year, because they have the best party, Regeneration Clothing, in Pleasant Ridge, Michigan. Go there, get yourself some clothes, see the ladies there. They're great. A great group of gals. So, a work Christmas party, go there, they get you drunk they give you food now my work christmas party they get too hammered and then they get all touchy feely and they got to make sure hey you know i bought all these presents someone in particular <laughs> at my job he name names tell... um, i'm kidding don't, don't do that. <laughs> he loves to tell everyone the fact that like yeah you see all those prizes over there i bought all those yep sure did i'm like yeah with your company credit card Shut the f up. I can go to a Myers and pick up a couple fake Christmas trees with fake ornaments and a Kit Kat bar, you son of a bitch. Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> or rotisserie. That would have been a really good gift. Hey, everyone. Some so, greasy, slimy Don plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don's been working with us for two years now. Don, I'm going to give you this gift certificate for a rotisserie chicken. You know what? Check that. I'm going to give you this bag, and there is a live chicken in there. You kill it. You make it rotisserie yourself, bud. Happy holidays. You really oh. can't give, like, black people chicken for gifts, can you? As a white person, you could just, like, hey, here's some chicken. What if I give you a gift certificate to KFC? Get yourself yeah, a you, bucket, you brother. Yeah. Like, hey, I, I have a bucket on me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, you really couldn't. You can like, hey, black person, here's some chicken. Or here's a gift. <laughs> you can't do it. Yep. It's like uh, I would take it, though. I don't know. I'm trying to think of. No, I wouldn't. Like, uh, given a white person. I don't know. You literally could give us any day. We shouldn't get offended about anything. We've no. killed so many people over the years. Ancestors is just throwing out blankets, smallpox, and then, f***ing, I don't know, eviscerating whole tribes of people. Anyways, work parties. So I have a list here, Don. Work Christmas party outings. The best work Christmas party outings you could go to. We're going to do work Christmas parties real quick because I love them so much. This is just a quick list. I think it's off a Cozy Meal magazine. The very first one is a food tour. So all you foodies out there that are working a nine to five that is abysmal and awful and terrible like most people 
If you're looking for a unique Christmas party, why not get out and about around town? Go get some food in your Bell Bell. Food tour. You're going to get a group of people that are working at like a manufacturing plant, like a smelting plant. Go like, let's go get some tapas. Who's oh, going to be like, I ugh. just want some steak, bro. Yeah. Blue I need some red skin. meat to soak up the alcohol that I'm consuming during the holidays. All that, yes. Yeah, all that Southern Comfort Jack Daniels bullshit. Like, all the people Ooh, that I work with, brutal, they, well, they put it back, like, to the point where they're all, like, old school, like, rosacea, mostly, <laughs> a lot of them, because of how much they <laughs> drink. Jeez. And that's just to get through the day. You know, you go eat some stuff. I don't understand. Like, any blue-collar worker just wants to get drunk at the office, maybe have a few deviled eggs and fucking Ooh, fart around the entire yeah, time. I love deviled eggs. Probably essay the secretary. And I, I'm not saying that lightly, but that is literally, like, the stereotype, but it's a stereotype for a reason. Absolutely. A lot of these old-school, like, boomers that are still around think that it's okay to get handsy with Sheila, douchebags. Okay, so another party outing, ice skating. So you get to see the morbidly obese coworker that you have fall on his ass on the ice rink. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. Yeah. And then office charity event. What Ugh. the f***? Who wants to do I don't charity? know what that means. Yeah. And then uh, take a team art class or wine and paint night. Oh, my oh. gosh. I could see some of the dudes that I work with that are mechanics desperately wanting to go to a wine and paint night. <laughs> <laughs> so sophisticated. Um, like I said, like they just want to get drunk yeah, they're for good. free. Yeah. But that's why they only do it. Our party was only four hours, and then they cut everyone off. It's like, we're not paying for the rest of your drinks. Four hours is a long time. I guess people come late. Yeah. So I, I don't go to the party. I just, I don't, I don't, don't, don't want to be a part of that shit. Okay, so the next one is karaoke night. Why would you want to do a karaoke night with these assholes? Escape I know why. Rooms. So people can record on their phone people being drunk and singing badly, and they can post it on the internet because everybody's a snitch now. Instead of just enjoying the experience and getting off your phone and just like having a good time. But Yeah, you got Mike, your coworker, talking like he's Kanye West about oh, no. the entertainment oh, industry. No. <laughs> <laughs> But see, that um, it's a different environment. It's a different atmosphere. It's not work-related. Like, yeah, he should be able to talk his crap. But it's still consequences. But Of course, 100%. But, like, that's the other thing, too. And I'm going to mention this. The worst Christmas parties. Like, things that you shouldn't do at a work Christmas party. But the next one is escape rooms. Yeah, I want to be stuck in a room that I can't get out of with a bunch of asshole coworkers. Mind you, not all my coworkers. That's assholes. already work. That's how I feel yeah. I work anyway. <laughs> exactly. So. It's work in general is an escape room. Yes. Life <laughs> is an escape room. I'm constantly trying to get out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Male suicide percentages, you know, check on your buddies. Love you guys. I'm fine. He's fine. Let's see here. Get. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Some. It says, get active with team axe throwing. Yeah, let me go to a place where I have a sharp weapon and people that I dislike, and I'm just going to throw axes with them. And add on kill. being drunk. And being drunk. Oh, I mean, fuck, I'm assuming yeah. they drink there. I've never done it, but I'm assuming they're drinking, right? Yeah, you got, like, two mechanics that already hate each other that have axes in their hands that are three quarts of a whiskey jar deep. They're just yelling at each other the entire time with axes. So what do you think is going to happen? A Dick Cheney uh, this incident? Is all, this list is strictly for like software engineers or ad agency people or like a quick and long rocket mortgage cult. What is it? <laughs> Wholesale mortgage cult <laughs> shit. Because this whole list is at one party for rocket mortgage. You got axe throwing in one corner. You got karaoke in the other. You got Bill over there probably having sex with his mistress that works there or whatever yeah jello then, shots probably Ooh, i love a good jello shot <laughs> good save <laughs> thank you after these messages we'll be right back hey babies you're liking the show well thanks leave a five star rating and a comment please do you want to see the guys' faces? Well, they got YouTube videos. It comes out every Wednesday before the episode comes out on Friday. You can watch this podcast on any major platform you listen to. Rate five stars and comment. Thanks, babies. So, that's pretty much the list. There's other ones, you know, go to a f***ing restaurant. Let's see here. What to do at a work Christmas party. Coordinate a scavenger hunt. These f***ing 
lists are dumb yeah. as shit. So this is off of Indeed.com. Indeed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll just go through this list real quick. Coordinate a scavenger hunt. Collect goods for charity. Oh, that's so good. Offer a variety of games. Give out prizes with a raffle. Volunteer together for a holiday party. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to plant some goddamn trees. Well, it's Michigan, so we're going to do that. But yeah, I don't want to volunteer on Christmas. Host a unique... A unique... A unique... <laughs> unique? Gift, a unique gift exchange. Or decorate cookies. The last one, which technically was the third one, and I don't think they really understand what they're saying here. Hire an entertainer. The first thing that popped into my head, and I don't know about you, Don, a stripper. stripper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's up? <laughs> Let's go. So those are the couple activities that you could do at a Christmas party. I think for the most part, people just want to get drunk and just <laughs> not do a goddamn thing. Let's see here. No Christmas bowling. No. I mean, I don't like bowling, but I would do it with a group. That's what I said. <laughs> but bowling is the type of thing that I wouldn't just go on a random week and just go by myself and bow. I know people that do that, but during yeah. like a holiday party, yeah, that's great. I'll buy a few rounds, we drink, we have shots, I'll bow poorly, I'll make fun of myself. It's a ball, but I'm surprised that's not on the list. That's crazy. Yeah, I only read part of the list. I'm sure there's more, but I don't want to, oh, you know, have yeah. this I just go through a bunch of shit. And also I got one, see, I don't want to go through lists. I got another list, last one. And then we'll kind of go into memories of family parties. So what should you not do at a Christmas party? Don, what do you think you shouldn't do at a Christmas party, bud? Get too drunk. Uh, okay, that is one. Don't drink too much. There's this one. Don't skip the party. Oh, shit. If I got yeah, exactly. to skip the party, I'm skipping exactly. the party. I read that and I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> I skip my work party every year. I tell them, you know what my excuse is? And I'm hoping that no one listens to this. I did tell my boss. Believe me, this, nobody though. listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> the ten people that do listen, we love you very much. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, after school special yeah. latch key kids. You're the best, broken homies. Yes. So don't skip the party. Don't talk about work excessively. Which, what else do I have in common with these people other than my job? A lot of these guys, I don't want to hang out with outside of work. The next one, don't bring. An inappropriate gag gift to the swap. So no yeah, dildos. That's what I was thinking. No fleshlights. I don't know what else it could be. Don't appear bored or antisocial. That's me to a T. That's my resting phase at work. Oh, dude. Yeah, everyone just thinks I look tired. So they're just like, hey, you doing okay, Aaron? Huh? A little sleepy, bud? You can get some rest. No, man, I'm fine. I'm actually full of energy right now. And the look on my face is literally, I look tired all the time. Sleepy boy, dress Just, festively, but not inappropriately. So you can't have like mistletoe hanging off of a dong on a sweatshirt or Christmas sweater, but it's like Bill Cosby all over. <laughs> <laughs> Eating pudding. Ah, dang Eating pudding. Can't, can't remember his voice. Eh, well. It's the sticky pudding, the, the pudding, I put the, the chocolate pudding. Close enough. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I say, you know. So you can't. Dress inappropriately, say anything inappropriately, look bored, buy, yeah, and bring an inappropriate gift. And you know what I'm going to do next year? I'm going to wear a f festive Christmas sweater that has a bunch of dicks and f***ies on it. And this is where you can start beeping. Oh, f all of you, you stupid mother f f sucking pieces of shit. Hey, Harry, you f f f f f shit. Hey, Terry, f you and your f shitty f brother hey sheila you're cool yeah she hey man yeah she was cool man let's see here don't meet new people what, the what? Fuck does that mean? <laughs> a party. That's what it says. don't meet new people yeah exactly bring people I'm bring talk people to bob's to wife yeah you know i'm gonna talk to bob's wife and kind of warn her about p over there because he's gonna try to finger blast her in the bathroom <laughs> be careful with what you share on social media that's a good call. yeah well i can't show like a ceo of a company like I don't know, knee deep in something. <laughs> It'd be really funny if my CEO listened to this. It's not about you, my guy. This is Everyone our holiday party. Oh. Yeah. So now with the work party out of the way, we move on now to the family party. The best time ever. You get to see all your uncles, your aunts. You get cheeks pinched, your butt slapped. I don't know, man. Growing up with weird ass 
aunts and uncles and my dad was adopted so you don't really know what you're gonna get and we're not blood so my aunts and uncles like really didn't treat us like as their own almost like we were bastards but except i'm like my dad's kid i, I know who my dad is i know who my mom is so yeah and then my mom is from vegas and so they still had christmas but we always thought that they did palm trees which palm trees do not grow in a desert but they have them all over the place out there <laughs> so the family christmas parties that i've been going to are mostly annie's like my family once you know they got divorced you know i haven't brought that up in a while so i, I thought maybe i should plug it right now but so it makes sense divorced, in this theme yeah it's kind of well, weird we when you're bringing any. it up in like teenage mutant ninja turtle episode. Yeah. like how did my that parent, like out of nowhere you guys are talking about like <laughs> yeah you know donatello and michelangelo i really relate with them and then all of a sudden i'm in the background like my parents are divorced. <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might make a collage of just how many times you bring it up. Yeah. What's f***ed up, though, is I'm almost 40. <laughs> it never goes away, apparently. Yeah, I guess not. But we didn't do a lot of family parties. And a lot of the time we didn't want to because we wanted to play f video games. Exactly. N64, Xbox, and I'm like, Dreamcast. Like, f yeah, I'd rather do that. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to play f video games. So I have noticed lately that I've gotten a little more nostalgic when it comes to Christmas parties and whatnot. Coming from, you know, I mentioned it second time in the episode, a broken home. And then broken having homie. one. Yeah, I am the original broken homie. So are you. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> or what is I repress my feelings. So eh. yeah. staff man comes from a full and loving home. Isn't that <laughs> like, remarkable? We all relate to each other, but we all have different backgrounds that piece together in a certain oh, way yeah. and just to say it real quick with this podcast is one of the reasons why i love it because i've gotten to know you guys more and gotten closer with you guys and then to tap into that with you know my ex and everything and the kids like i've learned more about her we're not best friends or anything like that we're co-parenting and that's but, how co-parenting is supposed to be mature yeah. and and it's all about the kids there you go and so we have conversations my baby mama makes <laughs> instead of, i can't say baby mama i don't know why i keep saying that i, I keep imagining i'm on <laughs> mori or something you can't okay. say baby mama i don't know i just don't like saying it oh um mother of hey, my children <laughs> mother of my children um <laughs> she makes it so magical for him and I, i'm not gonna lie i never had a magical christmas like, it was taken from me pretty quickly, just like my brother being a dick and telling me that it wasn't real. So we focus on that. But I told her the other day, it's like, hey, no one's getting a little bit older. <laughs> and fourth grade, maybe we should start considering telling him what's going on with the good old St. Nick. And she was like, well, we'll talk about it when the time comes. I'm like, no, we need to make sure we nip this in the bud. <laughs> just because you don't want him to be 15 years old. So, Or the guy that believed in Santa and he was, what, 28 years old? And then he found out, and he Who? disowned his parents. I, don't, I think Will Ferrell. Who the hell? Was I think that? there's a story out there. I don't know if he tried suing his parents, or he was just wow. like he never wanted to talk to him again. I would love to be friends with that guy, just knowing what the rest of the world knows that is no Santa, and just like he believes in magic. So I would like to be his friend, so I could believe in magic. Cause yeah, but I believed in Santa until I was in sixth grade. Well, I wanted to believe. I, I had doubts. But sixth grade, it was like, okay, now nah, I fully understand. Well, I kind of put two and two together when we got an N64, and I'm like, why is it that I always see elves building shit out of wood, and you're not seeing video games <laughs> or anything like that? Oh, you went technical with it. I started oh, yeah. doing what my cousins did, because my cousin was a little older than me, and when I would go over their house, it's like, look what I got, look what I got for Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, look. So they would go on these scavenger hunts in their house looking for gifts that my auntie bought them and their mom. And they were like, oh, look, see, it's under the bed. And I'm like, oh, wait, so gifts are. Un so I started doing that. And then I started, like, finding gifts and stuff. But I'm like, OK, well, this is how I, like, in my young mind, figured it out. I'm like, OK, well, Santa gives me the most important gifts, but my mom gives me gifts, too. So that's how I kind of, like. Yeah. Oh, dude, we only do three gifts from Santa. I'm not going to give that imaginary yeah. f any credit in the fact that I spent my hard-earned dollars <laughs> to get that goddamn dinosaur toy that eats other dinosaurs. After these messages, we'll be right back. 
Hey guys, if you like to see us in the flesh, we have video highlights of our episodes we release on every Wednesday before the new episode that comes out Friday. As always, you can catch this podcast on any major platform you listen to podcasts. Please make sure to rate us five stars and comment on how you're liking the show. After school special podcast. It's this lady and she's like, hi, welcome to my vagina. After school special podcast. What robot pet starts out speaking a unique language, but eventually speaks English? Gloopy? The fuck is a gloopy? Podcast comes out every Friday, Friday, Friday. 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 Anyways, family Christmases. So just in general, like, I don't know, this year has been really special. Now, when I was a kid going to like Christmas parties, it just seemed weird all the time. And my cousins just had nothing in common with them. Yeah. And so my brothers and I, we would play with our X-Men toys and whatnot. And they would want to, can you share? No, this is my classes, bitch. You weren't a good sharer as a kid. I would share with my brothers, but I don't want anyone else getting their mitts on my toys because a lot of the time people would steal shit and I don't appreciate thieves. No. But not to say that my cousins would do that. They wouldn't do that. I just didn't want to give up my toys. And as we kind of segue, unless you wanted to talk about your holiday parties. Well, my holiday parties, well, as far as work parties, I don't go to work parties. What was that? Number two on the list? I'm going to that shit. Are you kidding me? I hate work already. So why would I want to see you guys? Why would I want to go to a party? There you go. Even to my wife or my past girlfriend's work parties, I don't think I ever went. Somehow I moonwalked out of that situation. But as far as when I was a kid, we would go to my grandma's house on the day of Christmas. And I used to hate it. Of course, now I wish I can go back and do that. But when I would wake up, go to the tree, see the Christmas gifts that I wanted. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm about to play these all day. No, you can't. You got to go to grandma's house. I'm like, God dang it. Oh, but your cousin's going to be there and they're going to have, to- this is my mom speaking. They're going to have toys. And then, you know, grandma has cable. Cause you know, we don't have cable cause we too poor. And, and then your grandma Don, will hold down be like F- that shit. I want to play resident evil. <laughs> yeah. Or I was thinking of like three to like 10 year old range, but yeah, I want to say, oh, okay. but grandma, she would make the food. It'd be the bomb. And you go there, you get more gifts from your uncles and your aunts and your grandma usually consisted of socks and shirts and pajamas stuff that you do not care about when you're a kid but yeah. now i'm like oh man i could really go for a cool pair of socks right now but back in the day hell no what i no, would... i don't want any clothes no and my grandma house to us was like a mansion i mean it was like wow she had the nice wood staircase and she had a second level in her house and we didn't have a second level in our house. She had a basement. You know, our family at the time, it felt like it was so big. Like we had like 12 to 15 people all together at one time. And you know, my uncles and my aunts, they would have their kids. So I would bring my toys over to my grandma, the toys that I could fit in my little bag or whatever I have. I would bring them over to grandma house, play my toys by myself. My grandma loved me cause I was a quiet kid. I just wanted to eat. Everybody leave me the hell alone. But she had the staircase. I would, as a kid, be on the very top of that staircase as a kid looking down in the living room while everybody was talking. And I would look through that, the little wood panels and just observe people. And my nickname as a kid was the assassin. But I was just quiet. Like I was like, most of my cousins were older than me. And my yep. brother, they were all older than me. I was just a little kid. I just wanted to play toys. My grandma loved me. I loved everybody. But when it was time to eat, I would grab my plate, sit near the TV if she would allow me, have my little TV tray. It was great. But of course, after I left, after the party was done, I got home. And then, of course, I noticed in my bag, I was like two or three toys short because I left my new toys at my grandma's house. And I was so mad. But it was great. Cause we had food that we, my grandma always made sure you got, you got some food, baby. Go take some food. Well, she ain't talk like that. Now she sound like an old, old slave. I mean, she, you know, hey, I was going to say, I was going to say, is, is, that, is, is that like, are you doing minstrel of your grandma? Uh, like, <laughs> a little bit. Sound like Medea. I mean, she was like, oh, you know, take some, 
<laughs> take some food home. And it was great. We eat the food and the Christmas tree is still up. I don't know how long you keep your Christmas tree up, but it'll at least be up at least until the day after New Year's. So it just always felt like Christmas. Yeah. I think that's usually what we do. We take it down after New Year's because usually I'll take the first week off in the new year to kind of like resettle myself and mm -hmm. kind of think to myself, like, is this how I really want to start my year off is by working at this place again. Things to look forward to. Thanks, Aaron. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I love that story. Actually, my imitation of my grandmother and my mom says it's spot on. No one's going to be able to see it on there, but like the way that my grandma talks, Honey, do you want some more chili? And then she'll do this thing with her lips where she purses it. Like, seriously. And Aaron, my mom's like, that's spot on. Aaron, I literally look like a f***ing like, butthole puckering. But that's my grandma. That's why I wanted to give the audience a description because they can't see you. <laughs> like, what was yeah. that? Like, we, oh. call, we call my grandma, or at least we used to. And I don't know. As I've gotten older, my family members who I used to think were hilarious just seem to get angrier and angrier. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Same I don't here. get it. But we used to call my grandma Loopy Alzheimer's. Loopy Alzheimer's? <laughs> that was her <laughs> nickname. That's terrible. Yeah, because she would get lost in the f***ing Toys R Us or the mall. If we lost her, we wouldn't be able to find her for like an hour. Hey, that's hilarious. And my grandma was notorious for... She would love our family members to come and enjoy themselves. But after like an hour or two, she would get really quiet, slump in her chair and just look like, get the hell out. It's time to go. Like, That's oh, so my good. God. She will make remarks like, hey, OK, so you get enough to eat. <laughs> She'll start saying stuff like that. Get the hell out. And it would be like the running gag. And my <laughs> uncles and uh, my cousins were assholes. We know what you're doing. So we're just going to like pretend like you want us to stay longer. So they're like, yeah, yeah. we should some, play some spades. Yeah, come on, put on the music. Like, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> my grandma was like, oh my God. That's why me and my grandma were like tight. I mean, you know, as close as we could be, she always loved me because she knew like, yeah, I'm with you, grandma. Let's get the hell up out of here. But yeah. <laughs> I miss those when, days. I do miss those. So when we go over to my mom's house, Grandma Betty, I'll bring the kids over, and then at a certain point, I can tell when she's like, okay, I don't want to deal with these kids anymore. There's been a point where she'll put her hands up, done. I'll be like, <laughs> all right, we're out of here. Like it's a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. At least he's straight up with it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a pretty good segue into, like, Black Christmas versus White Christmas. Ooh. I don't think – well, like, for me, everyone, the Santa Claus, the Grinch, you watch all that stuff, you go to – the mall, sit on Santa's knee, it smells a little bit like whiskey. Definitely has some discoloration in his beard, so like oh, nicotine yeah. stains and shit. Do you still do that to your kids? Let them get on Santa's knee? My son loves it, man, and I don't want to take that away from him. He's such I'm a I'm not criticizing kid. you. That's a great No, no, it, I do, but I Bryn think won't. fifth grade is probably a good cutoff to like, all right, yeah, before yeah. he yeah. leaves elementary school, because when you go to middle school, take it from me, thinking that he still exists. Seventh eighth graders and hell even people in your own grade sixth grade they're gonna attack you but elementary school you're what good. is it just like this mother believes in Santa. dude <laughs> so i was gonna bring this up the the thing that i asked you guys the other day forgive me for my ignorance but have you ever heard the phrase boo boo the fool yeah so i can't remember who it was that said this to me but it's like black people say it yeah it's only black people and then john proceeds to uh say and I love this phrase. There you go, selling wolf tickets. I don't understand what the <laughs> f that means, but I love it. Oh, you don't know what wolf tickets is? Like, no, I have no f***ing clue. I've never heard that phrase. I never heard boo. Oh, Annie was the one that told me. Which one? Oh, Boo Boo the Fool. Oh, Boo Boo. <laughs> Where did she hear that? I have no Regeneration? idea. I was like, boo. oh, yes, it was. Everyone that goes in there, it's multicultural that go in there. Yeah, everybody's hit, man. Boo Boo the Fool. I don't know this guy from Boo Boo the Fool or like yeah exactly which yeah. is boo boo from yogi bear that's f crazy oh huh. and, and a see, barbera i'm still trying to figure this out this is a black thing too but i'm sure it's been co-opted by now but man you bold as hell bold is it saying bog like humphrey bogart or is it saying bold because i used to say man you bold as hell like bold like a cookie you ever heard that term no you never bold heard? bold see like i -O -L -D? thought ld see i was saying Everybody I know says says it like bowl, like you're eating from a bowl. But then I was like, no, you're saying bogue, like you're bogus. 
That makes more sense than bull. But the only thing I could think of when you said that was the joke in Baby's Kids. Your mother's so stupid. Thought it was chilly outside. She went and got bull. Oh no, that's that's funny. But no, that's <laughs> you never heard that. Uh, well, I guess I've never said it in front of you. Like like if somebody do something scandalous in front of you, like oh so, bogue bogue. Th- like somebody just sense. cut you off in yeah. traffic. Oh man, you bogue as hell. Like he's saying bogue or bold or bold. Bogue. I, it has to be bogue bogus. That that makes the most bogue. sense. Bogue. Do you yeah. dare use that name? Bogue as hell. No. <laughs> We've been saying that since I've been a kid. Like, you bogus as hell. Trying to think, is there anything? Black Christmas. <laughs> White Christmas. That's what I'm trying to think is, like, any phrases. Bogus. Okay, so we have, like, there's Kwanzaa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. I think last time I asked what it was. Doctor. Oh, uh, yeah, John it. knew it more than I did. Emoja. And that's one of the days. It's kind of like Hanukkah as far as, like, spreading it out in days. Like, seven or eight days. But Yeah. Does anyone still celebrate that? That's a good question that we probably should have researched. But audience members, do you know anyone out there yeah. that celebrates Kwanzaa? What other holidays or stuff goes on during the month of December? I'm sure there's some pagan rituals and whatnot. And then you know, Christmas came around through pagan rituals. Like that's what Christmas is more or less. It's a pagan ritual. They're worshiping a fat man. Didn't we talk about that in holiday traditions a little bit? No, we talked about more like Latin traditions or german traditions and that i think it was german like scandinavian scandinavian which they yes. they still kind of they they're kids. a um a dark uh, i was gonna say a dark people of <laughs> <laughs> dark not as in color of skin but in attitude and you know dark black metal that's black bogue. christmas <laughs> that's both well i will say christmas in itself because i talked about the childhood christmases that i've had but as i got older it's old enough to drink it was kind of weird being on that side of the fence when you compare what you were allowed to do when you were a kid during those parties and then when you finally cross over when you're like 18, 19, how people talk and treat you during the holiday parties. Because mm-hmm. as a kid, it was like, oh, so Donnie, what you get for Christmas? What Santa get you? And now 18, 19, you fast forward. It's oh, OK, Donnie. So you get a job yet or where are you working at? But it's like the the conversations just switch. It's like, all right, man. So what are you doing with your life? It's no longer like, how's well, my, school? My uncle, how's this? Was, my uncle's like, hey, you sniffed your first <laughs> yet? Yeah. Like you want to drink? Like, oh, okay. Can you drink yet? Then, of course, when you do become a drinker of 21, it's like, damn, Don, man, you, you, you really throw them back. I'm like, damn. I just No, you were just used to me being a kid. And not yep. do it. And now when I just drink a beer, like damn, Don be drinking a lot. Of, he be drinking packs a day. And like, See, what what the f- is that, man? When I was twenty one, my dad didn't say shit, and that's why I love him because he never. <laughs> once we certain age, he didn't treat us like we're still children. A lot of parents do that. A lot of aunts and uncles will do that. Treat you like a child. Even now, an aunt of mine still treats us all like f-ing children, and I snapped at her too. I'm Aaron, like, you don't want Aaron, I kind of like that yeah. though, a little bit. I kind of like it. It makes me feel young a little bit. I feel young because I do yoga every day. Jesus. I do oh my my, my workouts, my Pilates. And the whole thing for me is, like, I have two kids of my own. Once they become a certain age. See, okay, that's, like, I already, yeah. I already talk to, everyone makes fun of me because I already talk to them like adults. And I still do the kid things, you know, the child things. But mm-hmm. they ask me questions and I'm going to give them the truth every time whether it hurts or not but i don't do it in a way that's scary i let them know that you need to be prepared sometimes it's going to be tough we'll end on this note your family is always going to be there for you thick and thin blood is blood period that's why holidays are important you know like friends and whatnot you choose your friends and not your family but you know you and john you guys are family your blood period period Damn right. After school special dot com, <laughs> after school special podcast dot com, after school SPE three on Twitter, after school special three on TikTok, after school special podcast on YouTube, after school special on SpeakPipe. It's Latchkey Kids Speak. That's our tag. That's where you can find us. And Don, do we got any voicemails? Hell no. We ain't got nothing. Maybe you guys can say happy holidays on Leave us a nice little holiday message on there. It's easy. It's easy. You just click it. You can access it on your phone. It pops right up. I think 
maybe people are a little confused. You don't have to go on like a computer, or a desktop if you're like old or anything. You just go on your phone, click on the episode description. It's down in the episode description. You click on the link, it pops right up. Use your microphone, say, hey, what up, man? The last you kid, I'm the last year. I don't know what people say. You say that, happy holidays, have a drink on me. We also do have buy me a coffee app and all that stuff that nobody we don't get nobody nothing. utilizes no but we would appreciate it we would appreciate it if you did yeah but the biggest thing is Little right now stuffer yeah exactly we have kids we <laughs> afford presents somehow come on guys or drinks um, for us you know hey yeah yeah fuck it yeah, i need some booze right now so yeah leave us a voicemail let us know your holiday traditions let us know what it was like growing up in your household how great it was how awful it was just reach out we want to communicate hit that button hit that like give us some five stars five stars and a review baby hey from our family here at after school special podcast we want to say happy holidays keep it real broken homies and latchkey kids we love you in a friend way hey everyone it's aaron from after school special podcast like what you hear so far but don't forget to subscribe and download the show on whatever platform you get your podcasts and just a friendly reminder we have new episodes out every friday thanks for listening everyone mother sucking pieces of shit hey harry you shit hey terry you and your shitty brother hey sheila you're cool